first thing that comes into my mind when I hear the word Tevis is amazing and incomparable to anything else. Just the history, the trail, everything about it. Um, this year was my fourth attempt. And it's like, once to me, once you've done it, it's in your blood and you just have to keep doing it, whether you're volunteering, crewing, or riding. Uh, this year's ride was interesting for me. Um, I had a horse, this was her first hundred. Um, she was pretty inexperienced. Um, <clears throat> and we got out there and I have to say that I, the beginning of the ride was a lot harder than what I remember from one of my prior uh, endeavors. And uh, it, was, it was very challenging this year. Well, and the, the biggest challenge this year was the first 20 miles or so was a lot rockier than I remember it being and dusty. And so you're trying to go fast. You're trying to trot through all of this and the horses are having to trot downhill and maneuver around a rock bed that's buried in deep dust. Um, so that was probably uh, the, the beginning challenge. And then going through those difficult canyons, it's, it's in the afternoon, it's super hot. And by the time you get there, your horses, or at least my horse was very tired. And um, that, that was our undoing basically. <laughs> well, this might sound funny or strange, but the best part of this ride this year for me, I think was, well, there were two things. One, just the fact that we got to the starting line and we vetted in and we're, we're in the game. It was pretty amazing. Um, the next part that was probably the best for me was how well my horse handled the start because the start of the ride is, can be mayhem. And she just, she was a rock star. And that was to me the best part. Oh, we were in pen two and I would say we um, started out about midway to towards the end of pen two. So we were kind of far back at the start. Going up to Watson Monument was, as I said before, it was very difficult. Um, traveling through all of the rocky, dusty parts and pieces, but it's, a, it's always a fun bit of trail and, you know, we got there. <laughs> I would say this year, the most difficult part of the ride for me was um, <clears throat> going up to Devil's Thumb. As we approached the top, there were a couple of horses that were in distress and we were asked to, to stand on trail and wait while they took care of things and that it was just a, a stressful difficult time to see that other horses were in distress um, it was also um touching to my heart to see the spectacular care that the vets the volunteers and everybody was providing to those to those horses um, we did not witness anything specifically happening, but we did come upon it, the situation, and were asked to stop. And we were close enough that we, you know, were being passed back and forth by the volunteers. And um, it did have an impact on our finishing. Um, we were already at the back chasing the cutoffs. And then having that time where we were asked to stay. Uh, and even though they gave us a, a dispensation and an extension of the times for our uh, future vet holds, um, my horse was really tired by then. And it, so for me, it was like, well, yes, it did impact us, but now we're traveling over trail that in the dark that we would not normally be riding in the dark. And of course we didn't have headlamps or any thing to help light our way. So of course the moon coming up, that was a really amazing part. We got to see the moon and that did brighten up things for us. So we, we had um, kind of a combination overtime rider option situation. We came into Michigan Bluff so late that we were over time, there wasn't any way we would have actually made it to Chicken Hawk in time. So, um, and we, there were three of us that came in really late like that. 
and we just opted to have a trailer come and get us from Michigan Bluff. Well, training for Tevis, for me, uh, we live in Reno, in North Reno. We have in a beautiful valley and we have mountains on both sides of the valley, um, steep hills, and we, we just go out there and ride them up and down those hills. And where we have flat, we do lots of trotting and that's our training regime. I did ride this trail with this horse um, prior to Tevis. We did the Tevis educational ride, which is two days. Uh, and then I came back two weeks later and rode with some friends from basically Francisco's to Auburn. So we rode across, we rode the last 18 miles and we crossed the river and did all the things <laughs> to prepare. So, yeah. The advice that I would give someone who is aspiring to do Tevis is to do your homework, learn about the trail. Um, if you haven't done it and you don't really know anything about it and you have the ability to come and either crew or volunteer at one of the vet checks beforehand. And I would also strongly encourage anybody that hasn't done it before to sign up for and do the Ed Ride because they provide you such valuable information in addition to just having your horse on the trail. Uh, and then the other big piece is make sure your horse is ready to train and train hard. I will do Tevis again. Like I said before, it's in my blood now.